Unfortunately Mito Pereira's painful implosion will prove more memorable than victory for Justin Thomas. Pereira stood on the 18th tee in the final round of this US PGA Championship with the making of history in his grasp. There had never been a Chilean major winner before. There still has not, Pereira, needing par for victory, carved a touchy drive into a water hazard. An 18 handicap golfer would have been dismayed by the shot. Pereira's double bogey six did not even allow him the consolation of a playoff. That took place between Thomas and Will Zalatoris after they had tied at five under par. This tournament proved the slowest of burners but high drama was worth the wait. For Thomas, US PGA glory for the second time. A terrific drive to within 40 feet of the pin at the par 4 17th, the second playoff hole, was key to victory. He outscored Zalatoris by 1 over holes 13, 17 and 18. In regulation play, Thomas's closing 67 was superior to Zalatoris by 4. Pereira, to his great credit, accepted every interview request. Today I was really nervous, admitted the world number 100. I tried to handle it a little bit but it was really tough. I thought I was going to win on 18, but it is what it is. We'll have another one. Good on him. Matt Fitzpatrick, seeking to become the first Englishman since 1919 to win this event, finished two strokes shy of the playoff after a closing 73. It is tough to take but I just didn't hit the ball very well, said Fitzpatrick. Thomas blasted himself into contention with a birdie putt from 65 feet that found the bottom of the hole at the 11th. The 2017 champion collected another shot at the 12th. As those ahead slipped and stumbled, Thomas was the man to watch. He had head and hands after missing a decent opportunity at the 15th, which he assumed was a significant moment. Still, he refused to give him. A birdie three at the penultimate hole edged him to within one of Pereira. At the last, Thomas missed from 10 feet to tie Pereira but salvation was not far away. Tommy Fleetwood's stunning back 9 of 31, including four birdies in a row from the 14th, meant a top 10 finish. This marks Fleetwood's finest major finish since the 2019 Open. Fleetwood has encountered his fair share of on-course struggles since Shane Lowry prevailed at Royal Portrush. The Masters this year was my best finish that I've ever had in a Masters, this is the best finish I've ever had at the PGA, Fleetwood said. If I can keep that train going, the other two should be decent major weeks. Part of life is you have your good times and your bad times. I've never stopped working. I've always tried my best. I've always felt like I've been working really hard. I think everybody that gets to a certain level, with the right information, is by far good enough to come out the other side. Maury McElroy began day 4 sitting 9 shots from the lead and with no apparent chance of winning his 5th major, 